If I have a cavity in my mouth or if there is a hole in my mouth, do I always need a root canal treatment? Hi, this is Dr. Seema Chowda from DK Dental Clinic and today I want to tell you that does your cavity or a hole in your tooth always require a root canal treatment? No, it doesn't require. Basically, when do you require a RCT or a root canal treatment? This is the center of your tooth where the nerves are situated. So when the decay reaches your nerves, that is when you require a root canal treatment. So when the place is such that your decay has reached your nerve, you will always require a root canal treatment. When your decay is very far from your nerve, as you see here, it is very far from your nerves. At that time, you only require a filling. But what if it is in between? That is, the decay is away from the nerves, but close to nerves as well. So in that case, do I require a root canal treatment or do I need a filling? So yes, this case can also be saved without a root canal treatment. Here, we do a procedure what is known as pulp capping procedure. So what is pulp capping procedure? Basically, in a pulp capping procedure, we remove this DK and we put a special material on it which will protect your nerves and prevent the infection spreading to your nerves. This will preserve your nerves keep them healthy and thus after that we can do a filling on it and your tooth will be saved without a root canal treatment. That is what is known as pulp capping procedure. So what are the advantages of this pulp capping procedure? First thing, it is less invasive, it is less time consuming, it is pocket friendly for you because later on this tooth will not require a cap. So it will save your money as well. And the most important thing, your natural tooth is preserved, your nerves are preserved and your natural tooth is still living as like your other teeth in the mouth. What are the disadvantages? Disadvantages only that it requires more precision on the part of your dentist. They have to very skillfully remove that decay, work close to your nose and still preserve the health of your tooth. This procedure usually requires magnification either under loops or microscopes so that such precision work can be done. The other thing, the disadvantage that can happen is that yes, this tooth might require root canal treatment in the future, but that is might require. Most of the cases survive this treatment and they remain healthy for years. Until that time, your tooth is going to stay naturally healthy as the other teeth in your mouth and it is living as the other teeth in your mouth. So let's look at a patient where we have done a similar type of cup capping procedure for a patient and saved the tooth without root canal treatment. So as you see here, the cavity looks very small. On the radiograph, the cavity is huge. So we start removing the caries that is the decay that is present in the tooth with our special machine which is known as eroter. So here all the decay is being removed. The cavity which actually looked small now is turning out to be big. We keep on removing the decay till we see that the sound tooth can be seen as you see that red pinpoint uh, color that you see that is the nerve getting exposed because we had seen in the x-ray that the cavity was very deep very close to the nerve patient is of young age so there are more chances that the nerve will get exposed now we still keep on removing you can see soft tooth coming out it is all that decayed portion the infected portion present in the tooth and the red part that you see, that is the nerve which is exposed. But we intend to save this tooth with pulp capping and we are not planning to do a root canal treatment. Now as you see, we can start seeing a sound tooth coming up. The decay is almost removed. This is the final picture. The decay removed. The bleeding from the nerves is stopped so it is not infected. The infected part is already removed. Now in the pulp capping procedure, we will place the special material which is going to seal the nerves and close it back. This material will protect your nerves. Right? So you can see that small layer in the radiograph as well. We put a temporary filling on it and send the patient back. 
at the next appointment we remove the temporary filling you can see the cement that we had put on the nerve is set well now we cannot see that red point now we start doing the permanent filling the blue material is a kind of acid which we put on the tooth to increase the bonding of a permanent filling material it is washed off and now it is dried off this is how it looks after the etching then we apply a bonding agent which is kind of glue on the tooth so that it will help a permanent composite filling to set inside the tooth once we apply it thoroughly we are going to apply a blue light on it so that it sets after that we put a layer of flowable composite which is liquid in consistency which should be a first layer again we will be putting the blue light on it to make it set after that we start building our tooth into increments with our final permanent composite material we give it the desired shape so that it will look exactly like your natural tooth we are molding it into the shape of the tooth giving it more natural tooth like appearance once we do that once we are done with the sculpting with giving its proper shape we are again going to apply that blue light so that the material sets completely and thus the patient can immediately start eating as soon as he leaves the clinic this is the final filling that is done now we are going to still do one more step we polish this filling so that it stays the way it is even after months even after years and the patient can enjoy eating with this tooth this is how a final filling looks like you can see it in the radiograph it is quite deep close to the nerve but the tooth is saved so i hope you are clear now that what exactly a pulp capping procedure is if you still have any doubts do let us know in the comment section so that we will be here to clear your doubts thank you